Hello. Okay, finally we're live. It has been crazy technical last few minutes, um, uh, but good thing is that we're live now, and it's so good to have all of you. Uh, probably we'll just give another couple of minutes for people to join, and then we can start off. camera everything is there very interesting thank you see people are joining i'm sorry we technical glitches all right so um i guess um let's just dive into the topic right so being a solopreneur or a freelancer means uh, you're mostly left to your own devices right you have to act as your own project manager your own publicist your own admin assistant and sometimes all at once right just to name a few of the hats you'll be wear, uh, you'll be wearing right so building soft skills on top of your core skills your niche your sub niche whatever you want to call it is the key to freelance success right and we're going to talk about five soft skills we're going to keep it in uh, five five matrix right so we're going to talk about five soft skills you need to have under your belt to thrive in the freelance journey right the first skill is resilience right if there is one trait you need to have as a freelancer it is thick skin you'll have quiet months with no projects lined up you'll be um, ghosted by potential clients trust me that has happened to me you'll have projects fall through when you needed them the most right so resilience will allow you to persevere during tough times and not losing momentum in your pitching and marketing efforts or even faith in your skills and talent right the second soft skill you will need is of course communication so as the uh, client lies in for your own business your ability to communicate can be a make or a break matter right clear communication will be required in your discovery calls in your proposals uh, even if uh, you're sending the invoices and ensure both 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 you and your client are on the same page right and effective communication we call it so effective communication is also needed across your website your portfolio your uh, business social media channels to articulate what you do and how you can serve your would-be clients and especially your unique value proposition your story you know that all, all that's in trend right now and that's what will differentiate you from the competition right so the third soft skill is planning and organization now when you have no boss breathing down your neck planning and organizational skills need to be a part of your repertoire and this will include setting goals uh, establishing a work routine uh, using organizational tools and probably forecasting effectively to ensure that you always have work lined up so building a pipeline right and staying organized will also mean that you'll be able to streamline your freelancing efforts which allows you to be more productive more efficient and more profitable right? the fourth major soft skill that you will need is time management so it is very closely related to your planning and organizational skills and the ability to manage time is uh, in my opinion the most important skill because as a freelancer you might have to juggle projects right it's not just one project or one client or one life that you'd be doing so freelancing will mean juggling multiple projects at one 
tasks and then you'll have to prioritize your workload you'll have to deliver results on time you'll have to be there on the time you'll have to prep do a lot of prep work for your stage presence right all this while resisting the distractions which can be afforded by self-employed people Right? When you do fall off track, as we all inevitably do sometimes, it is important to let your clients know in advance that you'll need an extension. So this kind of relates back to communication. right? Uh, the fifth skill is something that I find most important uh, other than time management and it is called self-care, especially post-corona times. right? So self-care, yes, it is a skill. It, it's, it's all too easy to burn out as a freelancer with with prospecting for new clients and next client kaha se aega, next kaam kaha se aega, next gig kaha se aega, right you chase up your overdue invoices payment i nahi aayi aadhi aayi puri nahi aayi 30 din mein bola tha 5 din mein bola tha nahi aa rahi right so you have to do all of that yourself and then on to that you have to file your taxes right if you are doing that if not please do it it is important for you to build up your portfolio and we will very soon probably next month have a session on uh, financial literacy for artists it so you'll have to do all of these things these these things that you have to deal with so hustle culture adds to the problem you know making the self-employed feel like they have to be working more than 60 hours a week to be successful and that's not true it's a myth okay the ability to work your own hours may also mean that your work days end up uh, bleeding into long nights spent editing marketing or pitching things and having a routine will help you keep things manageable you no know? uh, how about even allocating a day each week to self care so you step away from your emails and the work in progress every now and then and it will help you keep yourself healthier and more productive in the long run you know uh, as a freelancer you can't afford to um, miss these soft skills you know they're the key to managing your relationships your time your work and most importantly yourself okay so these were the top five soft skills and now we're going to talk about top five hard skills that every freelancer needs right other than your niche so if you're a freelancer there's no doubt that you have a solid creative skill set at your disposal but have you ever thought about the hard skills which could uh, which would be very handy on top of your niche right so regardless of your specialization these are five things that are going to help you be more productive get more clients get more business right and it also gives a lot of um comfort to the client you know shows your professionalism right so the first hard skill that we're going to talk about is administration now freelancing takes an awful lot of organization um, on any given day, you'll be creating your documents, your flashcards, chasing up invoices, projecting your future workload, booking meetings, traveling, and sometimes all of this will happen, you know, between the time you get up and your lunch time. Right? So administrative skills will help you um, keep on the top of the chaos and avoid issues like late submissions, getting late to an event or text time headaches, you know, <laughs> due to a misplaced reset. So that is the first hard skill. The second hard skill that every artist should have is financial management. Forget artist, it is something that everyone should have, even kids, right, teenagers, tweens, everybody. So unfortunately being creative also means uh, being bad with numbers a lot of times right so many creative people find themselves in difficult financial situations now refining your financial management skills can help um, allowing you to project your income you know put away necessary money for taxes and uh, set income targets you may even want to work with a financial planner or a tax agent to make sure you've got 
all your ducks in a row right and when i say financial management uh, no i don't mean uh, that you should know how to read a balance sheet or you should know how to make a uh, an income statement no we all have cas for that right but at the same they make money in crores but let's say if they don't get a gig for 6 months which corona proved to a lot of us if you don't get a gig for 6 months can you sustain yourself and your family that is where financial management is important okay uh, the third thing the third hard skill that we'll be talking about today is business acumen so if if you're struggling to take your current freelancing to next level so you may get gigs you may not get them or they are less or you have lot of time left now when you treat your freelancing as a business it truly really helps your career take off right it helps you uh, to get out of that gig to gig grind which i have seen most of artists going through right so escaping the employee mindset can be achieved sometimes through uh, setting a routine or probably hiring a virtual assistant increasing your rates investing in yourself just a few strategies right and yes there is something called as increasing your rates and you can do that when you invest in personal branding right so that is three the fourth of course the fourth hard skill is marketing so no freelancer can skim on their marketing skills and when i say that i don't mean that you need to get into technicalities of everything but you need to have an idea that freelancing is all about it's not a you know all cake and play no so consistent marketing is um, what will help you break the feast or famine cycle which i am sure you are well aware of a lot of artists have that thing wherein there's this one time you have so much tension in your kafi right and then there is time uh, when you don't have anything right so always enjoying a steady roster of work a steady pipeline is what marketing helps you with so some ways to market your business may include paid ads you know it could include optimizing your website for seo you can participate in the online communities events awards right you can pitch to a potential client find them rather than you know uh, work come to you you go to them right push and pull strategy in marketing you can your marketing efforts to ensure that you're putting yourself out there okay and lastly the fifth hard skill that is most important is something that i haven't done for a very 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 long time but networking who are introverts like me probably so luckily networking can take many different forms these days you have online communities to low key gatherings uh, it can help uh, to to think of networking not as a way of pitching yourself to strangers you don't have to go and exchange or give a business card to everybody but more like an opportunity to participate in a freelance community right uh, networking uh, will help you build valuable connections who you can collaborate with who you can turn to for support or even enjoy referrals from that's what we are trying to build in mycology it's been uh, over a month now and with your support i'm sure we're going to build it further right so freelancing um, also involves plenty of on the job learning but it is always a good idea to preemptively and consistently work on your skill set there are plenty of resources 
available online that exists to uh, to help you start developing freelancing skills from you know probably bite sized skill share classes to maybe entire diplomas in business and marketing so if you invest a little time in yourself you could be pleasantly surprised at the results right uh we all know that the market is changing the gig culture has already come and we are in a new normal now right so i'm going to give you five pro tips that i give to uh, people i consult and these are now concerned with your niche right so here are your five quick pro tips when you're talking to a client show you know the job right make it easy for your potential clients to choose you for the job by showing that you actually understand what they are after so unique projects need unique proposals so when when you're pitching for a job you should take the time to work out precisely what the client wants and then tailor your response accordingly the second thing is polish your pitch you need to have a pitch statement right from 30 seconds to 10 minutes right when it comes to pitch for a job it should be customized not a one size fits all approach right you should take time to craft out a personalized submission that speaks directly to the needs and requirements of the potential client you know it will help you establish credibility by demonstrating past successes and it also shows an innate understanding of the skills in the field you know uh, to showcase that you are the right fit okay that is two three is display your talent okay it's showbiz you no know? let's just keep everything aside value aside marketing aside it is showbiz and you'll be judged on the strength of your existing work so create a strong and complete online freelancing profile which is easily accessible and it showcases your existing work as in this will help or this will become an essential factor in winning over potential clients and also i mean if you have a prominent history of positive review stories testimonials ratings by previous you know previous gigs it will always encourage potential clients to hire you fourth know your market uh we tend to do a lot of things we tend to get into a lot of things we tend to um try and do it all right uh that is why if you would have noticed the market is moving towards niches you get hired when you talk about one thing over and over consistently so one of the best ways to build up a strong freelancing practice is to branch out into probably some areas that may overlap with an existing skill set but that would mean that you'd have to do some research to work out precisely what is it that clients in particular segments of the market are looking for and it will greatly improve your chances of the bid hitting the spot right and the most important one right now is building new skills build new skills like strategic upskilling can be a very very effective and targeted way to probably branch out into different areas that may be uh, underserved and improve the chances of winning new work new clients right um so if i have to have if you know we look at an example in this scenario look at it this way this is an automobile engineer right an automobile engineer would be preferred for an auto expo right so if you're an automobile engineer and you're an mc you'll be preferred for an auto expo compared to somebody who is um, probably doing weddings right so uh, there are a lot of these things that you'll have to keep in mind and um, once you start uh, once you start looking at these five things once you start developing them and go one by one you know there's no need to jump and dive into all of them so probably pick one a week and then start and uh, that's important once you start you're already one step closer to where you have to be right so thank you everybody thank you so much and um, it's interesting 
uh, to talk about this, especially for the community members. And I really look forward to engage with you uh, during the coming events that we have. And if you don't know about the events, then I would request you to go have a look at the event page of the community. We are bringing up uh, a lot of fun events uh, next month. So see you Take care. Bye.